let's talk about how you work with instances in, um, in Oxygen. Uh, this is an instance. It happens to be the instance that runs the course book, and we'll use it as a uh, we'll use it as an example of how to work with instances in in, um, in Oxygen. First of all, let's get oriented to the window. The window really has um, uh, the top area that you're used to with menus and and buttons, and it has two side areas that you may be less used to. Um, on the left side of the window. Uh, are something called project, and we won't use really this in, this much in the class. I haven't found much use for it um, myself, but it allows you to organize all your files into an overall um, XML project. I usually do that in a um, in a in a set of folders, and so I don't really need the project tab, but you may find it useful. Um, all and these tabs have the they really all have the same kind of functionality. If you want them there permanently, you click the little. Uh, a pin and that pins it permanently to the side if for some reason you want to have it there all the time um, and then you can click the pin again and it'll go away but it'll always zoom in and zoom out as you need it so another one is the outline which we'll talk about presently um, and then on this side we have different tabs that will go over as we need them um, and they uh, they augment your typing so this is navigation on this side as um, as we've already established that's kind of like a local navigation area and over here we have uh, um, uh, a help you fill in uh, the, the lines where you're at kind of area. Um, and then across the top here you can see we have tabs and these are all different XML files that I've opened in this user interface. So um, I, as I switch between one and the other you'll see that I'm going into different files and this area in the middle is always filled with the current file and uh, the side areas always orient to the file that's in the middle. Down at the bottom we have different views um, we won't worry too much about the views because really we're going to, for each type of file, that's these down here, for each type of file we'll really be on only in one view. Text view will be the main view that we use for looking at instances. Okay, so um, what else? Some buttons that you should pay attention to, the, the, the big ones really. Um, obviously these standard ones, I don't have to explain to you, saving and opening and all that kind of stuff, and new. Uh, a, let's see, um, this button over here is the validate button. You don't quite know what that does yet, but make sure that you see it. And then the one that we'll pay most attention to right now for instances is this one um, called Format and Indent, and often other in other places called Pretty Print. Um, and we'll, we'll uh, work through that one in just a moment. Okay, so that's the general orientation to the windows. We have navigation on this side. We have entry helpers on this side. We have the list of files that you open, have open on this side. We have the validate button. Um, this, by the way, is also a transform button, which we'll get to later, and then this um, format and indent button. Okay, that's the orientation to the windows. Let's talk about how you move around in, a, um, in an instance. You can see, first of all, that we have line numbers here. So line numbers will always be useful to you to figure out exactly what line um, you're on, or when you get an error message, you'll see a line number in there, etc. Uh, you can, for every element, you can click this little button here and close it up and open it up. So I can get down to our first line headings here in by just closing up some of these lines. There. So I've closed and opened these lines. Um, I can close and open the entire topic that we're on. I can close and open the description of the topic that we're on or the outline, etc. Uh, that's how you that's how you um, close up a, a that's how you close up an instance, and we can close it all the way up to the top doing that by just clicking uh, progressively on these uh, on these arrows. Now, um, the the thing that you're going to want to pay attention to, especially as you get into more sophisticated um, XML files, is the outline. Let me just peg it onto the screen here. The outline gives you a full, you might call it a full table of contents of the entire file. So you can see in our course book file we have at the top level, courses, description, topics, exercises, projects, activities, bibliography, sources, course infos, and boilerplates. Inside topics, we have inside the topic, topics, plural container, we have topic singular items. So each one of these is a topic. But these topics can have topics inside them. That's what gives us hierarchy inside of our, um, inside of our course book. And where we are right now is under info structure, and you'll see that this this structure right here loosely corresponds to the um, to the structure of information in your full course table of contents. Um, we are now at 
let's see, we're in the XML tab. Under XML, we're in XML uh, instances. And now we're back to where we were. So that this uh, outline tab is really useful in navigating around and seeing the full, I think you, the best way to think about it is the full table of contents of the XML file that you're in. So let me get rid of that so it's not in our way anymore. And uh, let's see, up. Oh, I'm going to have to bring it back because I lost my place. That's another good thing it does for you is it gets you back to your place there. Okay, so um, Oxygen will change depending on the kind of file that you're viewing. At the moment, we're viewing an instance file, and that's that's the, the point here. But let me, um, let me just show you what it looks like when you go to different files. When you go to a schema file, now it gives you this schema view. So we could still have a text view, but we like the schema view because the schema view shows us schematically what's happening in our in our um, in our uh, shows us schematically what's happening in the schema. When we go to a transform file, I happen to have a transform file here. We see that as well, and uh, and it's all XML as you'll learn during over the course of this um, uh, course. But it's different. It's XML that has different purposes. So the uh, the the window changes. The window changes perspective and it changes what you're allowed to do based on where you are and as we get into these other types of files besides instances we'll have more use for uh, or we'll, we'll pay more attention to exactly how it changes.